to another three string cigar box guitar lesson we are still slap bang in the middle of the 1980s here this is she sells sanctuary by the cult from 1985 i do believe it's off their album called love so exactly the same year as previous dire straits one so obviously a good year for classic rock and this is in the original key um it's actually really good to play on three strings because you could probably see most of the melody, most of the riff was just up and down one string. So I was drone in the middle D string and just playing, you know, different frets to, to, to play the riff. And uh, I was also playing with a loop pedal. So I just pre-prepared a bit of a loop and uh, it's actually, if you've got access to one, it's a really good tune to play with a loop pedal because it's basically the same chord sequence all the way through. So you can set up like a four bar, eight bar loop, whatever you want, and then you're good to go play every single part along with it. I reckon let's get straight on with having a go at the tune. Okay, let's tune up. So we have low G and middle D. And high G. Okay, so this is our standard uh, G power chord tuning. Uh, the original song is actually in the key of D, and we we are playing in the original key. So once you've learnt this, you can completely play along with the original track. Because what we're doing is we're droning this in middle D string, and we're playing we're playing the the riff the melody on the top string and also you probably noticed there's a fair amount of effects on it one of the most important ones was the delay and so this is set so whatever speed you want to play at uh, this the the repeating delay notes are basically set for one beat that the length of them lasts for one beat so here three four one two three four so so what you want to do is so you just want to mess around with your de delay um, speed and just find what what's an appropriate uh, speed for you to play at uh, or you can match it up with the original song there was also uh, on the original he uses flanger I haven't got a flanger pedal but I've got a phaser which sounds like this on its own it's got a slow, well this setting I've got anyway has got a slow sort of swooping sound. And then I put a bit of chorus on as well. And so it just makes it sound like it's kind of wobbling all over the place a little bit. So, you know, somewhat somewhere close. However, I think the best thing to do is to Go for the boring version first so we'll, we'll we'll learn it without any of those effects and obviously whatever you've got access to uh, stick it on when you've learnt it still sounds great with that so 
what we've got at the beginning this is obviously it's a flat pick lesson so definitely flat pick here and uh, if you want any help with basic technique then link to sunshine you love so i'll uh, i'll put that on there it's a video from two or three years ago but what we've got is we've got a more sort of sounds a bit more like a free time or more of a sparse introduction okay so it's not sort of driving through like the rest of the song and and it has the the delay and what have you which which fills it out but the tune the notes that we're playing are fret 14 on this top string and 12, 11, 7, and then there's a little bounce between 5 and 7 being a hammer on. I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. We'll just go around that one more time. So it's 12, 10, 11, 7, 5. Okay. So the fingers I, I'm would probably recommend using is um, you can you can just move up and down with one finger if you want when you get to fret seven though you do want to use finger three because of that hammer on so I was personally using finger three one oh that's 14 that was on 12 that's on 11 uh, and then I'll swap over and I'll use finger three on fret seven and then finger one on fret five so a hammer on is when you hold a note in place so it's fret five in this instance and you don't move that first finger you tap on so it's a it's a quick sort of brisk tap um, movement so you slap the string down onto the fret before you you mute it so you get two notes for the price of one pick All right so you do that so you pick five it's a quick hammer on to seven and then you pick five again straight after okay so with the bass we've got uh, it actually starts with a bass note it kind of picks up i'll go over the rhythm shortly so it's bass 14 bass 12 bass 11 bass 7 play 7 again and then hammer on and then play 5 again obviously the bass is this middle string we're not really playing the low string much at all until we start strumming the chords so we've got bass 14 bass 12 bass 11 bass 7 pick 7 again and then Five, hammer, five, five again, bass seven, bass two. Timing wise, this is the first beat of the bar, so the open bass note is what you call a pickup. So it's three, four, and one, two, and Okay, so probably if you think of the, the spaces, so it's like short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, so all, including the hammer on, they are short notes there. Short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, all the way, long, short, long, short long now that rhythm continues and it's a very similar little sort of echo of that but it goes a bit higher this time so it starts in the same place it's fret 14 okay so what we're doing there is we've got 14 so it's bass 14 bass 12 16 I hope you've got enough frets and then 14 and that same that same little move there but from 14 to 12 hammer ok 
okay. And the second half of this second part of the riff starts on 12 again, and it goes to bass to 14, and then I've not got enough frets, it goes up to fret 19, so if you have got 19 frets, go for it, but what I was doing instead was playing a harmonic. So that's where you don't you don't fret. So I was right at fret seven, but bang over the top of fret seven. So uh, you don't push the string down. You just touch it very lightly, and you're kind of dividing the length of the string. Okay. So all of that second riff, twelve, sorry, fourteen, twelve, sixteen, fourteen, fourteen, hammer. 12 again, 14, and then that's fret 19 if you've got it, or it's a harmonic at fret 7. You've got to be right over the top of it. Blocking closer to the bridge as well, uh, it makes it easier, and having, like, if you've got different pickups, select the, the bridge one, it makes it easier to sound them. I'm largely going down, up, down, up here, so down on the bass, up on the, uh, the, the high string. So it's and then the second half okay and then smack snare hit and we're straight in with the recognizable riff the main sort of hook of the song which is same notes but fuller, so more driving. So what I'm doing here is uh, strumming through the top two strings now for, for basically all, all of the notes. And we've got 14 twice, 12 twice, 11 once, 14 twice, 12 twice, 11 once, and then 12, 11, 7. So once on 12, once on 11, twice on 7. Then there's a little sort of pickup where you just go uh, do, do, do a little um, extra couple of strums and then drop straight down to fret 5 then it's 5 twice 7 twice fret 2 once so the rhythm's actually echoing itself in the same way as the introduction and then 12, 11, 7 so we've got 14 twice 12 twice 11 once 12, 11, 7, twice. Little pick up, two strums, then five twice, seven twice, two once. 12, 11, 7, 12, 11, 7. That is the main riff, which looks a bit like this 14, 12, 11, 12, 11, 7, twice. Pick up, then five twice, seven, twice, two, once, twelve, eleven. And so uh, finger-wise, I'm using finger three, finger one, finger one on eleven, and then I'll go fingers two, one, one, and then finger one, finger three, finger one, and then I'll probably just go two and one again. And then you can probably hear with the rhythm, it's got that same kind of combination of short and long notes. So it's long, short, long, short, long, short, 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 long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Which would be one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, three, Four and one, two and three and four, one and two, three 
and then just repeat it round again. The only other thing you might want to consider for this riff is picking direction. So it's definitely a driving rock song. You know, it's at that sort of tempo where it's re relatively quick. So you can just completely use downstrokes. You know, just just downstrokes gives it a very even and kind of bass accented sound. So. Which sounds great. Um, or if you find that this is a bit overpowering and you're not quite bringing out the sound of the, the high string enough, you could try, it's almost like little controlled strums. And, and it, it adds a bit more variation to the sound because when you do an upstroke, you, you, you're emphasizing the high note a little bit more. So it just adds slightly less of a com constant sort of even um, driving sound. So you could go down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So to be honest, either's fine. However, when we get on to the verse, so obviously that's when the singing starts, we're just playing downstrokes. Palm muting is quite important here. So um, rest just next to the bridge. Make sure you don't kill the sound completely. But what's happening is, uh, if, if you want to get the sort of correct sound, you're, you're accenting certain strums. They're all down strokes. So we've got one and two and three and four and. So it's like the half beat down strokes, but. Some of them stand out and they're not palm muted and others are palm muted so you might need to practice that a little bit if it's difficult you could just go big strum and then just hit one string you know if you're struggling to come off the palm muting and put it back on but basically the rhythm pattern is one unmuted accented strum and then mute and do two unaccented so so it's a group of three notes and you go through those three notes four times and then it just changes a tiny bit at the end. So we've got first one, one, two, three, second one, third one, fourth one. And then right at the end, it's just a pair of two note um, patterns. So it's unmuted, accented, muted, Unmuted, muted at the end. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. And also, sorry, just in case you hadn't noticed, I'm holding down fret seven on the high string and I'm, I'm just plucking through these middle two strings. So like I said, basically not playing this one. So you palm mute in, start like that, roll off find a good a good sound and then it's not unmuted muted okay and so that's that's just that's two bars so the the it's kind of cutting across the beat a little bit the groups of three notes and then the chords change and we go to fret 5 but it changes, the chords change halfway through. So we've got uh, two bars of D. So we're playing the first part over the D chord, but then uh, there's there's a like an acoustic guitar, I think, which is providing chords uh, sort of back up on, on the original recording, and that goes to a C. And so we're dropping down, that actually happens to be a D, that fret seven note. This happens to be a C on the high G string. So that's something that fits I was still droning that middle D. That fits over the top of the C chord, but then it changes after one bar only, and it goes to, to G on the, the, the back up the chord sequence. So we're going up to fret 12, which is a G. And we go up to fret 12. After three of the 
group of three notes on C. Then change to so in combination, the, the rhythm that we did on the D fret 7 is identical when we go to the fret 5 C note and the G combined. So we've got three groups of three on the C, one group of three on the G, and then finish with the two pairs of strums. So right at the end. So it's one, two, three, second one, third one, fourth one up here and then just a pair of two, two pairs of notes at the end. And then it goes to something which is pretty similar to the main riff, um, as in... It's the same, same way of playing, strumming through the, the top two strings, but uh, we're getting a bit higher, we're sort of staying up this high part of the neck here. So uh, loads of strums on 14. Then go to 16 back to 14 and then you can do a little slide down so you've got to make sure you're using a finger which which works with the slide so uh, that is keep it fretted so we're going from 14 down to 12 so you've got to make sure you, you try not to lose the note and and the, the slides part of the rhythm so uh, 14 and 12 with the slider duh, dum. They're, they're the same speed as the fast strums. So it's 14, 12, 12 again. Little pick up on 12. Slide from 12 to 11. And then re strum it. 12, 11. And then 11 to tw back to 12, slide up. And then re strum that. So the bit where it starts sliding is from 14 to 12, so slide straight away, do a couple of extra strums afterwards, and then a little pick up with three strums, and then strum from 12, slide to 11, strum it again, slide from 11 to 12, strum it again. So we've got 14, 12, 16, 12, 14, 16 to 14, pick up, slide, 12, 11, 12. And the counting is 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, and 1. Slower. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. Second half of this riff is pretty similar. You can slide into 14 from 12, but then the rhythm is the same. So it's and then a couple of extra ones, 16, 14. So apart from that slide at the beginning, it's exactly the same. This time we'll just change the rhythm ever slightly. We'll actually make it a bit more continuous, but um, a fairly straight rhythm. So we go from 14, 12, 12, 11, 9, back to 12. So it's 14, strum, slide, two more 12s, strum, slide two more elevens strum slide three more nines and slide back up to 12. all of that second half then strum slide two more strum slide two more strum slide three more slide back up so most of this song goes round in sort of handy eight bar sections. So all the bits we've looked at to start with have, have been exactly eight bars. So um, it, it's pretty much the whole thing. So if you 
have a listen to the original and uh, you know let label all the parts as you want so you've got the intro you've got the main riff you've got the verse you've got the second main riff whatever you want to call that and then just make a list so you can see exactly in which order they all occur and then you can basically play the whole tune and play along with the original eventually one more tiny bit though you can there's a, a little solo um, where he's just basically going 14 12 11 and he's he's only picking them once and these are all fast notes so I'm using finger three finger one and a little slide down now again this is a, a group of three notes which is making a sort of cross rhythm when you repeat it and we can do five of them here so uh, five, fret 14 12 11 five times so it's one two three four five and then make that last one a little bit longer and then just to finish it off so that, that was two bars and then just to finish it off we do another two of them and then faff around between 14 and 12 at the end so it's the, the, the second half is 14 12 11 14 12 11 14 12 twice 14 once 12 twice at the end so all of that in total is is the last one two more okay so that's about it have fun with that one great fun to jam out whether it's on your own on your own with the loop pedal or with a guitar buddy playing the chords um, but it still sounds quite strong even if you've not got the accompanying chords but yeah so have fun with that one uh, we will be back very soon with another gdg lesson so as i was saying this is still the six uh, string one pack for tuning series so we're obviously in gdg uh one more in this tuning and then we're going straight on to a different three strings from the set look forward to seeing you here again soon on code of guitar